Hi everyone, as you can see in my dashboard, I have a speakers uh, custom post type over here, my events and then speakers category. So there are three different uh, post types that I have added in the uh, WordPress admin panel How using the custom post type UI. However, my members plugins are actually, is actually not showing my uh, edit capabilities for all of these people, right? Uh, why is that so? Actually, I would like to just show a small fix on it. All that you have to do is just go to the uh, custom post type UI. Just go to the add or edit post type. Then inside this uh, edit post types, you can choose any one of the posts that you have right now. So you can see that I have three different uh, posts over here. Now I have chosen the speaker's uh, post. Now if you notice everything, whatever you have already done, the auto population of all the fields according to you. If you come down to the settings, you will also see a place called capability type, right? So here what you can do is you can give your uh, capability that to be added in the members plugin as well. So for example here, I'll just add a speaker and the plural version of the speaker, which is the speakers, correct? Now once you do that and then uh, go ahead and save this. Now if you go to, uh, now you can also see that the speakers is not available here. You imagine it was, uh, you know that it was available just before the, just after the my events, but now it's not available. Just that is because I also have to allow the admin person also to have such uh, uh, capabilities. For example, if you go to a members phone panel and then go to the roles. And if I open my administrator account, you see that my administrator account right now shows uh, speakers on it, but my but I haven't had any uh, permissions being granted for that speakers, right? So adding a capability type for a particular custom post type, it's actually removes all the capabilities for even for the administration uh, user as well, right? So all that I have to do is just grant all permissions for a admin user and grant only necessary permission for any other uh, users that you want, right? So as a quick example, what I would like to do is I want to go to the roles again and I want to change the editor's role for the speakers as well. Now you can even see that now the speakers are now available again for admin channel users because now I have given all the uh, permissions. Now for the editor as well, now the speakers shows you here. Now I can give some necessary uh, uh, permissions like edit speakers. I don't want to edit other speakers for example. Then I can delete the speakers, publish the speakers, read private speakers, delete private speakers, delete publish speakers, delete other speakers I don't want to give and eat, uh, uh, edit private speakers and edit publish speakers. Yeah. So these are the only capabilities that I want to do it for um, editor's account. So if I log in into my editor's account right now, now the speakers will be shown and the uh, other tools uh, will also be shown of course because that has been there. Um, however, the speaker's capability has been now added to that editor's role as well. Alright, that's all for this video and I will see you in the next video. Thank you guys.